Hey guys, it's Phil. So this is a little going into the weekend video. And this is specifically aimed at you folk who have um, been having issues with either being able to install a custom recovery or being able to use Super User once it's on your rooted phone. And I've been talking to some of you in the comment section since I put the videos up, trying to do the best I can without a video. But I think I've decided, obviously, to um, just put it out and let you guys have at this one with as much knowledge as I can pass on in this video. So, what you're going to need is your Galaxy S3. This is the Sprint model that I'll be using. And you will need whatever version of Android that you have on it. But the ones that I've helped you guys get to is KitKat, so this will work on KitKat for AT&T and Sprint. So, downloadable in the description are the CF Auto Root, Twerp, Clockwork Mod, and Phil's Touch Recovery. <coughs> Excuse me. Re uh, recovery files. So, the uh, CF Auto Root we will have to flash first just to make sure we get stock recovery and then Super SU install on the phone. Next, we will either we will try using Odin for Super or for installing Twerp. And then if Odin does not want to do it for us, we will use Nandroid Manager. And to flash Clockwork Mod, because what I'm going to download, what I'm going to put for you guys is an image, you need to have Nandroid Manager or a way to flash an image. So there's that one. And it's the touch version, so you don't have to pay Clockwork Mod the 99 cents to flash it for you, which is kind of ridiculous, but beside the point. So what you're going to need for this one is the file that matches your phone. I will include Verizon, Sprint, AT&T, and T-Mobile files, as well as an Odin file, or the Odin file if you don't have it already, and a Super SU version 1.94 update just in case, as well as all three recoveries for each phone carrier. And then the Phil's recovery, there's one version because the D2 LTE codename is for all four and beyond major US carrier S3s. So <clears throat> let's begin. So what we need to do first is note this is rooted and has a custom recovery. So regardless of whether or not yours is rooted and has a custom recovery, we're going to power it off and go into download mode so Odin can help us rerun CF Auto Root so that we can have a fresh, nice fresh, um, Stock recovery and system with SuperSU installed. So move you over here. There we go. So to get download mode, we do volume down, power, and the home button. Sorry if the screen's a little dark right now. And we're going to feel it buzz, hopefully. And then we should get this screen, custom OS, which is exactly what we want. So press up. And then as you can tell, let it focus, custom, custom one. So I have done this before as you probably saw. So plug it into the computer and let's zoom in on Odin really quickly. As you can see right up here, it recognizes COM4 and added COM4 down here. So we're going to select PDA because mine is on my desktop. We will go into there. We will actually pull out the tar.md5 from the CF auto root file, so you may want to do that beforehand to just save yourself a little bit of trouble. So we will select the CF auto root D2, whatever your thing is, .tar.md5, and then open it. It'll go through the check because it's an MD5 file, which has a code on it. So leave CS, you should be good. And then the file should appear here with the extension of where it's stored on your computer right now. So we're going to start and what this will do is install stock recovery as well as, let's zoom out a little bit, as well as install Super SU in the correct folder in your system of the phone that you could not get to before if you've been having issues with root. So if you see this, it should go fine and you can close CF Auto Root because what we're going to need is... So there we go. So rooting, restoring stock recovery, cleaning up formatting cache, rebooting in 10 seconds, and it'll boot into the system. So next you're gonna to wanna to open up Odin, 
and then so this is this is going to be the first way we're going to run it. We're going to flash twerp team win recovery project recovery seems redundant, but it isn't. So we're going to just you know get ahead of the phone a little bit and let's get us zoomed in there and well this just boots up so we're going to do the same thing pda and then we're going to select the open recovery twerp 2710 d2 whichever version you have dot tar and then select open and because it's not an md5 it doesn't have to do an md5 check so phones all booted up okay so let us go into the play store First, let's check to see if it's here. There we go, Super SU. If you see that, you might have, well, refresh rates, but if you see the Super SU app, then you should be good. So let's let's click on it. Unfortunately, Super SU has stopped, okay. If you see that, we're going to check the Play Store for any updates. Let's wait for it to load. So this is just sitting here ready for us whenever we want to install our recovery. So we're going to swipe in and see my apps because it is an app link to the Play Store. So that's how you get your updates. And then once it loads up and finishes starting the system, there should be an update for Super SU. If there is not, we will have to put um, we're going to put the super the update super su v9 1.94 from the download section down in the description go ahead and download that just in case and then we're going to put it on the phone's internal storage so i'm going to delete this older version that i've got yes delete please and then copy to root of storage and then go ahead and close it. And then we're going to boot unplug and then boot back into download mode. So, so we can flash a custom recovery. So we're going to power off, shut down, wait for that to shut down, open back up Odin, clean up some open windows. And then we're going to go back into download mode, volume down, power home button and go until it buzzes and then you would click volume up to get to where you want to be there we go so added removed out of it there we go it's recognizing that we have a phone connected so we have the file the uh, open recovery twerp 2710 d2 variant version there dot tar and then we're going to click start and what this will do is take a very short amount of time to flash a custom recovery to your phone and it will automatically reboot into the system. So if you don't want to deal with booting into the system, you can, as I'm going to do now, just open the backup and take the battery out, let it die or let it power off without battery power and then put it back together and boot directly into recovery so we can see if it worked, which it probably did if it didn't rerun the twerp flashing process. So zoom me outy. Minimize Odin so the colors rebalance, and then volume up, power, home button, press and hold until it, you see a screen with a little blue text up there. Recovery booting is what it says, by the way, if it's too fast for you to see. You see that? You have a custom recovery installed. You see this? You have Team Win custom recovery installed. So this is what Team Win recovery looks like. It'll show you some system stuff, like tell you how much battery you have, which is nice. It'll tell you the time that it recognizes it as. So what we're going to do is go into, once we have the Super SU update v1.94 on your phone, we're going to go install, and then we're going to find that file. So as you can see, mine is right here. So it will flash that one. And then we have to slide this way to get it to flash. So let's slide and flash super user the update and let us reboot the system so we can get back into normal usage and see what our handiwork is made. Okay, here we go. So the boot process was as normal. And then because we installed an app, 
we uh, had to update the apps. So while my launcher is loading, we will go in, check to see if SuperSU is there. There we go. Let's check for a Wi-Fi connection. Let's get you turned on just so we can check the Play Store if need be. So let's open up SuperSU. There we go. Okay. So note I have passed successes with granting root access because this phone is already rooted. But let's check for the Play Store update if there is one because as far as I know this is an out of date version so there should be an update. So if it does stay super user has stopped, it will allow you to manual to update and have an up-to-date version that will be able to overpower Knox. And if this is your first time with Knox, and this is your first time rooting this phone, it will show Super SU has detected Knox. Would you like to tr would it would you like for it to try to disable it? You can click yes. Most likely it will say Knox has been successfully disabled. Congratulations. And then take you back to an empty list of where device or where grantings will appear. So right now we have an update for Super SU. Don't worry that the icon doesn't match. It's the same app. So as you can see, update. And let's go. So let's see what version this is, just out of curiosity. This is version 2.01. So we are running an old, a moderately old version. So once this updates, if your if super user has stopped, showed up when you first booted, after we installed it manually through recovery, then this should fix it and it should allow you to disable Knox and to begin granting root access. So let's open the, the app that has been newly updated. So the binary needs to be updated, so let's continue. Let's do this normal. And if it doesn't work normal, because we have twerp installed, we can use twerp slash CWM clockwork mod to install it through recovery. So there we go, you can read that clearly. Like it says, if it takes too long, try it again, reboot and try it again. So there we go, installation failed, please reboot and try again. But I already know I have the latest one on, so let's see if it, let's see if we can do it the other way. Twerp and CWM will attempt to reboot, does not work on all devices, so it probably will work because it just turned my phone off. So this video is running a little long, so the next one will probably be how to, if it doesn't fit, how to get Clockwork Mod on once you have Team Win and Root, or at least Root. So, there we go. And that worked. Let's reboot and system, because it did finish its deal. So, the next step will be to, once we have a custom recovery and have used it to flash a super user app that works, with our device, we will use the root access we have in the device to use Nandroid Manager, which is linked in the download section, or if you already have it from a previous tutorial, open it up, and then grant it root access, and plug your phone into the computer to drag the cwm-touch-d2, followed by three letters, either vzw, spr, att, or tmo which correspond with Verizon Sprint, AT&T, and T-Mobile, um, Galaxy S3s, respectively, to install Clockwork Mod Touch Recovery if you prefer Clockwork Mods in their interface and backup system instead of uh, Team Wins, because it's not for everybody. So let's go into Super SU to check and see if everything's up to date. Okay, it's not up to date, but we can live with that, can we? Let's see. So it did not pass in recovery, and it did not pass in the phone. So let's try and see if it can pass in the phone normally now. So I will get back to you whether or not it fails or passes. And there we go. So installation success. Once you see this, you're good, and you can go about granting root access. So to test if you actually have root access, let us go download, as I have already, Root Checker Basic. Just type in Root Checker in Google Play 
and download this one. It's free, don't worry, just click through the change login, whatever. So it'll tell you your current device and your Android version, and it will ask you to verify root. So, the system is very, very slow because it's kind of a hot day for me. Okay, that's interesting. So, we found that my device does not have correct root access. So what we're going to do is, as SuperSU recommended, we're going to restart the device just to make sure the SuperSU binary update takes precedence and place and effect. But in the meantime, I will talk about the different recoveries that I've included in the download section. So we have twerp, which is what we just saw, and it is good for people who prefer a more graphic user interface and one that has more options that you don't need to just find it. It's some people find it more logical. Clockwork mod touch recovery, on the other hand, is one that is it's simple. It has the features you need and it it doesn't do the haptic feedback that twi twerp does so if you don't like haptic feedback you can do clockwork mod fills which is the third recovery which is a universal downloaded install for this one is an interesting one because it's a modified version of clockwork mod stocks recovery clockwork mods stock recovery which is just clockwork mod recovery so this one it's also touched it touch interface but it has it's got a nifty purple theme behind it instead of the normal blue and black it is capable of doing a couple of, a couple, he said, a, a markedly longer list of actions within recovery. Let's unplug because we don't need to be plugged in anymore. So it allows you to do more. And then it also allows you to, if you know what it means, then rejoice. If you don't know what it means, then don't worry. Um, it allows you to install aroma files, which is just a different way of installing files when you set up a new ROM or set up a phone. So we're back in root checker. Systems all booted up fine. So let's see if we can grant root access. And if so, we can consider ourselves rooted. Okay, after having been denied, we're going to try something. So. If you go into Play Store and download an Android Manager, or if you have it installed from a previous video where you tried to get this set up, we will use... An Android Manager will ask you for root access at start. And since I've already granted one, I'm actually... Here we go. So root checker basic. That took a while. So here we go. If you get this, you are rooted. So before the little numbers run out, you should be fine. That That was a long delay, and I have not had that happen before. It's, it's probably because Tonchoiz is really eating up RAM with this one. But, so the important thing is that let's, let's root check. There we go. Since we granted it root access, now it can show its congratulations, this device has root access. So there's going to be a short video after this, which will be how to switch from Twerp, which was the easiest to install because it's just an Odin flash away to um, fills and to clockwork mod and then to back to twerp if you want to so just so you can try them all out so that will be linked in an annotation over here probably about here so that video will be going up directly after this one and i hope if this worked let me know give it a thumbs up give me a comment down there let me know it worked or let me know what didn't work let me know if you had any delays like i did with um being able to grant root access with root checker or let me know if the recovery flash didn't work let me know your problems and we will get that sorted out as soon as possible so this has been phil it's friday and i hope this makes your weekend just a little bit better see you later guys